Hello, my name is Felipe, and my partner Nick and I will be talking about the disease tularemia. Tularemia, also known as rabbit fever or deer fly fever, is an infectious disease caused by the bacterium Francisellus tularensis. It is a rare infectious disease that typically attacks the skin, eyes, lymph nodes, and the lungs. It can affect humans and other mammals, such as rabbits or other small rodents. Tularemia is part of the family Francisillaceae and the genus Francisella. Tularemia is a gram-negative bacteria, which means it has a thin peptidoglycan cell wall and its cell envelope contains an additional outer membrane composed of phospholipids and liposaccharides which face the external environment. The morphology of tularemia is cacobacilli, which means it's a type of bacterium with a shape between cocci and bacilli because it has very short rods which may be mistaken for cocci. Tularemia is a zoonosis, meaning that it is a disease that can be transmitted to humans from animals. Tularemia can be transmitted through multiple ways. It can be contracted through the skin, eyes, lungs, and mouth. The most common form of transmission for this pathogen is through direct contact with an infected animal such as a bite, lick, or through the handling or cleaning of a carcass of an infected animal. Inhalation of dried animal matter Eating undercooked meat are also other methods in which the disease can be contracted. However, depending on the route of entry into the body, the development of a different form of tularemia can occur. These different forms of the disease can also lead to varying symptoms ranging from average to potentially deadly. Different forms of tularemia can develop depending on the method of entry into the body, such as <coughs> ulceroglandular tularemia, glandular tularemia, ocular glandular tularemia, oropharyngeal tularemia, pneumonic tularemia, and typhoidal tularemia. Ulceroglandular tularemia is the most common form of the disease usually from an insect or animal bite. Glandular tularemia is contracted through the skin. It is very similar to ulceral glandular tularemia. Ocular glandular tularemia involves the eyes as the method of entry for the bacterium. Oral pharyngeal tularemia is usually caused by eating poorly cooked wild animal meat or drinking contaminated water. This affects the mouth, throat, and the digestive tract. Pneumonic tularemia occurs when the infection is transmitted through inhalation of contaminated aerosols. The symptoms of tularemia vary depending on the form that has been contracted. Oculoglandular tularemia symptoms include eye pain, eye redness, eye swelling and discharge, an ulcer on the inside of the eyelid, and sensitivity to light. Ulceroglandular and glandular tularemia have very similar symptoms which include fever, chills, headache, exhaustion, skin ulcers at infection site, and swollen and painful lymph nodes. Oropharyngeal tularemia symptoms include fever, throat pain, mouth ulcers, vomiting, diarrhea, inflamed tonsils, and swollen lymph nodes. Symptoms of pneumonic tularemia include a dry cough, difficulty breathing, a high fever, and chest pain. Symptoms of typhoidal tularemia include a high fever, extreme fatigue, diarrhea, vomiting, enlarged spleen, enlarged liver, and pneumonia. Severe and untreated cases of tularemia may cause chronic heart failure, 
swelling of the membrane that surround your brain and spinal cord, and even worse, death. Preventative measures for tularemia include protecting yourself from insects with repellents, taking care when gardening or working outdoors to protect from any contaminated aerosols or dust with the use of some type of facial mask or protective eyewear, taking precaution when dealing with animal carcasses or any animal in general with the use of gloves to avoid direct exposure, making sure that any meat from any wild game has been cooked thoroughly and not taken into the body raw or undercooked. Treatment for tularemia consists of use of antibiotics such as gentamicin and streptomycin, which are bactericidal antibiotics that work by interrupting the protein synthesis of the bacteria. There are currently no vaccines available to the public. In conclusion, tularemia is a disease caused by a gram-negative bacteria with the cocobacilla morphology. The method of entry determines the type of tularemia contracted, and symptoms vary depending on the type of tularemia. Here's our references. Thanks for watching.